Everybody knew that would probably get us in trouble, but we all agreed it would be worth it to know Grandma was okay. So we took the elevator down to the first floor and headed for the front door. But on the way there, we noticed loud music coming from the rec center, which was packed. What are they doing? Recreation center. I figured something. Somebody must be having a party in there. And then we poked our heads in the door, and I found out I was like. It was Grandma's birthday. Ooh ooh ooh, she's turning seventy for a life. It was it was bad enough that Grandma had her birthday party without us. But what made it sting a little extra was seeing all these strangers helping themselves to for to our to her famous meatballs. Chew chew, munch munch, smack or slurp. It took a while for the party to wind down, and once the room finally cleared out, Mum and her sisters got some time alone with the birthday girl. <laughs> Grandma started off by apologizing for not inviting everyone to her seventy-fifth birthday party, and she and she said she felt bad felt bad about sending us all away. But this year, she just didn't want to deal with any family drama. And after spending almost a week, whole week with everyone, I can confirm that Grandma made the right call. I think it's crazy that she sent us on a vacation. Nobody wanted to go on to buy herself a little personal space, but that goes to show how much power you have when you're the head of the family. <clears throat> Speaking of power, Grandma told everyone we needed help clean up the rec center, and it sure would have been nice to have Vincent around right about then. <clears throat> scrape, scrape, wipe, wipe. Ah, it's a lot of hard work. I felt bad about what happened with him, but it turns out he's doing just fine. In fact, he sent everyone a text message on the family group chat, which Dog must have invited him to join. Two family chat from Vincent and Dazu, living our best lives as person and pet. After everything that's happened over the past few days, I didn't think anything. Would could shock me anymore, but there was still one big surprise left. Grandma asked me to take the trash out to the dumpster, but the bag was a lot heavier than I thought, and it burst open. When I started picking up the trash that spilled, the label on the plastic bag caught my eye: Palazzo Pomodoro, frozen meatballs. And just like that, every Everything was suddenly clear. Palazzo Pomodoro didn't steal Grandma's meatball recipe. After all, this whole time she's been buying her meatballs from them. That explained why Grandma made her daughters promise to never eat there. She knew that if the family found found out her secret, her power would go up in smoke. So when Grandma saw me standing there holding the empty bag, she froze. And for a second, neither of one of us knew what to say. I thought about telling everyone in the family. That grandma's meatballs were store bought, and we could just order them whenever we wanted. But then I had another thought: if I kept grandma's secret to myself, maybe I could be the next head of the family. And then I'd be the guy calling the shots about where everyone goes on vacation, who gets to marry who. So I promised Grandma her secret was safe with me, which put me in a position to take over the family when the time comes. And even though I feel bad about cutting the line, when it comes to power, sometimes things can get a little messy. Did you know the last word in the Die Wimpy Kid series is messy? Here it is, take there. I hope you liked my reading, and I hope I see you next in the next book. The end. I hope you enjoyed Diary of Wimpy Kid Hot Mess. If you did. Press a light. I look at you and it's easy to see. You are that someone I've been trying to meet. I got your number, won't you pick up the phone?